it's Hannah, and today we're going to be talking about the books that I'm currently reading in the month of August. So I've been in kind of a reading slump lately, and I haven't really been able to finish very many books. So I'm currently in the middle of a lot of books, but I'm really not going to mention every single book I'm in the middle of, because honestly I think it's probably like 10 at this point. So I'm just going to be mentioning four of the books that I've been currently reading, because those four are the ones that I've been paying the most attention to. But without any further ado, let's get into the books that I am currently reading. So the first book that I've been reading lately is We Awaken by Callista Lynn. I received this book from the author in exchange for an honest review, and I just started it yesterday because it came in the mail, and so far I am about like 40-50 pages into it and it's not a very long book so I think I'll be finishing this one fairly soon. This book is about a girl named Victoria who is a lesbian and she's also asexual and the story is really about her understanding her asexuality and the feelings that she has for this girl that she meets in her dreams. So it has a bit of a contemporary vibe but it also has some magic in there and some dreamlike elements to it so so far I have really enjoyed it and I am hoping to finish it off within the next couple of days and then do a review for you guys because I really like this and I think it's a topic that's not really discussed very much in a lot of YA lit. Even within LGBTQ plus lit, I feel like asexuality is still a topic that I haven't personally read very much of. So I think it's very refreshing and definitely a topic that should be explored a little bit more. So I am very excited to finish this up and let you guys know what I think. The next book or graphic novel I should say that I've been reading is The Encyclopedia of Early Earth by Isabel Greenberg. This book is a little bit difficult to explain because it's very extensive and it has a lot of stories within the story. But essentially the story is about a man and a woman from the North and the South Pole of Early Earth. And Early Earth is just like kind of exactly what it sounds like, an earlier version of our Earth. So Earth before we inhabited Earth. And because of that it has a lot of its own mythology wrapped up into it. So this man travels from the North Pole to the South Pole and he meets this girl and the two end up falling in love with each other. But then they find out that they can't get within two feet of each other because the magnetic poles of the Earth keep them apart. But the two of them think that their love can withstand this, so they get married anyway, and because they can't get close to each other, the only way that they can be close to one another is by telling each other stories. And that's really all I want to say about the plot because I don't really want to give spoilers of things, and like I said before, it's kind of complicated because there are so many stories within the one story. I'm about a third of the way through this, and so far, it's absolutely wonderful. I am loving it and I think that if this still goes in the direction that it's been going, this will probably become my favorite graphic novel I've ever read. I get a lot of Avatar The Last Airbender vibes from this and you guys know how much I love that series. It just has such a well-developed world with its own mythology similar to Avatar, so it just gives me those feelings and I love it. The art style is absolutely beautiful. I love the color schemes in here. So I cannot wait to finish this one and let you guys know my full thoughts in my wrap up. But so far, if you are looking for a new graphic novel to read, I highly recommend trying this one out. Even though I haven't finished it, I have a feeling I'm really going to love it. So the next book that I have currently been reading is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I think I mentioned this book in my last currently reading video and I really haven't made much progress since I mentioned it in that video because like I said, I've been in a reading slump and I've just been putting all of my books down. But this book is about these twins, Jude and Noah, and it just kind of follows their relationship and the two of them used to be very close and then a few years pass and then they kind of become estranged from one another and you're just kind of seeing their relationship unfold as well as their individual lives and their own problems. And so far I'm really really enjoying it. I just haven't had the motivation to pick it up again but because it's summer I'm trying to kind of get through all of my contemporaries that I've had planned to read and this one was definitely at the top of that list. So I've decided that I definitely need to continue on with this one and I've been trying to read a little bit more every day. And finally the very last book that I'm currently reading I actually just started today because it is a reread and I have decided that since it's been exactly a year since I read this book I want to read it again and that book is none other than my favorite book of all time The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. So last August I read The Night Circus for the very first time and as all of you probably know because I talk about it in almost every single video it is my favorite book of all time and I've decided since it's been a year I want to reread the book and this time I want to go through and mark everything up and write down my favorite quotes and everything. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I just started it today, like I said. I read like two chapters. I still love it as much as I loved it back then. It's still my favorite book I've ever read. And I'm just really excited to finish it again because I just love it so much. Just so, so much. I just love being back in this world. It's honestly my favorite thing and I am just 
so, so happy that I love it as much as I loved it the first time and I can't wait to finish it up again. But at the same time, I don't want to finish it because I never want to finish this book. So that is it for my August currently reading video. So let me know in the comments down below what books you are currently reading and which one is your favorite one and maybe I will add it to my ever-growing TBR. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!